Hey everyone and welcome to Breaking News for Intercession. Dr. Tony Evans. <sighs> so earlier this week, Dr. Tony Evans released a statement. Um, well, first of all, let me say who Dr. Tony Evans is. Dr. Tony Evans is the senior pastor of Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship in Dallas, Texas. Um, he's the father of Anthony Evans, the singer Priscilla Schreiner, the young lady who starred in um, War War Room. Um, excellent intercessor, prayer, prayer warrior. She travels, she does conferences, and his wife recently passed away with cancer from cancer but in a statement dr tony evans wrote i committed no crime i did not use righteous judgment in my actions he said he will apply the same biblical standard and restoration to myself that i have applied to others in another statement dr tony evans said when we fall short of that standard due to sin, we are required to repent and restore our relationship with God. A number of years ago, I fell short of that standard. Here is Eunice Gilliam. I grew up on Dr. Tony Evans. I was 13 years old working at a retirement home and my dad would come pick me up. I got up seven o'clock at night. My dad would come pick me up. And when I get in the car, that's the only thing we listened to all the way up, all the way home was Dr. Tony Evans. I even styled my teaching after Dr. Tony Evans. He is someone that I highly look up to, highly respect. And guess what? He still have my respect. I still honor him. He is still a mentor to me. I'm still going to watch his videos. I'm still going to take notes. I'm still going to celebrate this man of God. This is just my opinion. And we all sin, whether you accept it or believe it, we all sin day by day. So if he said that this happened years ago, in my mind, I'm thinking you repented from that. You have been restored. Let's, let's keep moving. Let's, let's keep preaching. Let's keep going. Of course, I don't want to convey the wrong idea. No, we should not have someone, and me and my sister were talking about this. No, we should not have someone that is practicing sin, has a reprobate mind. Someone who feel like, yes, I can go do this, knowing that God is not pleased, but I still can keep going here. Because I can do that. I don't want to sit under someone who has that type of disregard for their salvation. And that person, I would say, let's, let's, yeah, let's sit you down, get you restored, see what's going on with you, biblically counsel you, and, 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 you know, just help you out. You shouldn't be leading. I always say this. You don't want to bleed on the sheep. That's for a person practicing that. That's for a person that has that lifestyle of sin. But if someone stumbled and they repented, and when I mean repent, they have turned around from it and is going in the opposite direction. That person, in my opinion, deserves to continue in the space that God has called them. Now, what I respect about Dr. Tony Evans is, I believe, now I don't know, some say the elders set him down, some says he set himself down. I don't know, he hasn't really shared that verbatim, 
but I believe he took the step back. So I admire that and I respect that. And my prayer point is for what he asked God for, restoration. Because I feel he still have books, sermons, um, mentoring. It just, I just can't let it go. I love Dr. Tony Evans. I cried when he sat down, stepped down. I cried. So, so let's pray for restoration. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we approach your throne with humility. We approach it in the righteousness that the blood of Jesus have made us. We do not come to you lightly, but we come unto you with a grateful heart, knowing that you hear our prayers. You see our tears. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask that you lead us into prayer by your spirit. For we know not what to pray as we should, but the Holy Spirit makes intercession on our behalf with moans and groans that cannot be uttered. Pray, pray through us, Holy Spirit. Pray with us, Holy Spirit. And the Bible says that he who knows the mind of the Spirit, I thank you, Lord, is making intercession on our behalf Lord Jesus, you are our chief intercessor. Father, I lift up Dr. Tony Evans, his wife, and the congregation. Father, for whatever reason it was, I believe by faith you have healed him, forgiven him, and restored him. So I pray, Lord Jesus, that restoration enters into his heart, his soul, and his mind. Father, I pray that there are no hypocrites that will be able to belittle him and make him regret his decision. But he look unto the hills for whence cometh his help. For all his help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Father, I thank you that restoration takes place now. I thank you for keeping him. Father, I thank you that the word that you have in him will come forth freely, unhindered and uninterrupted by any satanic or demonic force. Use them, God. Give them rest. Give them peace. Let a firewall of the Holy Ghost be constantly around him, his mindset, and whatever else he is petitioning before you, O Lord Almighty. And we thank you for hearing our prayers on behalf of our brother. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Remember, God loves you. You're not perfect. He's not looking for perfection. Just make sure you have a relationship with him. Make sure the Holy Spirit is helping you to check. I love you so much.